going to record a new video, a new hack. But uh, before I start sharing on what the new hack is, I will encourage you to watch the video that I've done before, uh, order confirmation. You can go to Virum and then you can just search for order confirmation and watch this video. Uh, the reason why is because uh, this new video is very much related to the order confirmation video that I've done. So let's get started. Okay, uh, many of you in VRUM Ecom, I'm not sure whether you have read this thread from uh, Emma Tran, uh, mentioned about low customer feedback score. Here's how I fixed it. So basically, uh, Facebook has launched uh, feedback uh, to measure the satisfaction of customers who bought items from your store. And uh, I heard from some dropshippers that their Facebook page was disabled because of low feedback score. So how do we counteract that? So this guy has shared uh, three tips. For first tip is you set the delivery speed up to eight weeks, which you can do in your Facebook page. And then the second one is actively send a feedback survey to your customer as soon as they purchase from your store. So he also said, apart from surveys sent by Facebook, you can actively create your own survey link by email or SMS and send it directly to your customers to get prior feedback. So when a customer bought the product, you can actually send a link to them to rate your service. So the question is, how do you do that? Because in your customer list, there may be 100 customers. So are you going to download 100 customers and then sort it out who has recently made a purchase, filter those out and send them a survey link? So when I look at this tip, I think there must be a better way to do this. <coughs> so I want to enhance it, so I went to explore. So uh, this, this feedback survey is very important. Why? Because he says that after customer directly rated or sent review to your Facebook page within these eight weeks, Facebook won't send them a survey link anymore. So this is important. Now before Facebook send the survey link to your customers, you want to go a, a, hap, a step ahead to survey your customer first. Get them to read you before Facebook send their survey. So I look at this tip and then I thought, uh, why don't I explore some hacks and see how we can enhance it. So that is why I encourage you to watch this video. We are going to leverage on this order confirmation hack. So how do you do that? You can do that in Shopbase as well as Shopify, but I use Shopbase, so I'm going to show you in Shopbase how to do it. So you click on order confirmation, okay, sorry, let's click on order confirmation. And then this script, okay, you just have to edit this script. And then this is the message that I type it up. Hi, shop base customer or hi, Melvin or Michael or whoever, we are getting your order ready to be shipped. This is a default text in the order confirmation template, you can edit it. So I put customer satisfaction, very important to us. We'll do everything with our best effort to get it right. Please leave us a uh, satisfied feedback. Now, uh, facebook.com Okay, this is the page whereby Facebook will send your customer to. Okay, so your customer will look for the website that they purchase your product from and then they'll leave a feedback. So this feedback has three options, satisfied, neutral, dissatisfied. This is the page that Facebook will send your customer to, okay? So what you do is that you say, please leave us a satisfied feedback, okay, satisfied. Now, why do I put satisfied? You want to direct customers to make the choice that you want them to make. That means satisfied. You don't want them to select neutral or satisfied. So please do not put, please leave us a feedback because the customer will usually leave neutral. So you direct them on what you want them to do. So please leave us a satisfied feedback. If you're happy with your buying experience with us at our Facebook page, you may do so here. Insert the link, the link will come to this page. Okay. And then you say, if you're happy with your buying experience, you may do so here page. Go to the advertisement where you bought your purchase from to rate our service. In return here is a 50% discount code. Thank you 50 for your feedback. Now, this sentence brings two benefits. First is you encourage your customer to leave a feedback. You give them 50% discount on their next order. Second benefit is that you encourage your customer to go back to your store and purchase something. Now we don't want to make a profit from this. The important thing is you want the customer to do the feedback first. Okay? 
Then after that, you can say in view of the current virus crisis, you will insert the image here. Okay, so this is how you make use of the order confirmation email and send it to your customer after they have made the purchase. So this is it. And uh, most of the videos that I have already posted to Virum, and there's one more that I posted quite a while ago, is how to intercept customers from raising a dispute. So if you're using PayPal and then you don't upload your tracking number to PayPal, customer raise a dispute, PayPal will ban your account or hold your money. So to preempt the customer from raising a dispute, you can first create a script to your customer first. So whenever they raise a dispute, this email will pop up and tell them, hey, don't, don't raise a dispute. Uh, we'll give you a further discounts or blah, blah, blah. Just watch this video and you'll understand what I mean. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.